For decades, Russia dominated the skies of Europe with its fearsome air power. But now, a quiet military revolution is unfolding in the north. Sweden, a nation known for its neutrality, is rewriting the rules of aerial warfare. The JAS-39 Gripen and its cutting-edge successor, the Gripen E, may be the greatest threat to Russia's air dominance yet. This is the story of how Sweden shocked the world, not with brute force, but with brilliant engineering. The story of the Gripen fighter jet began in the late 1970s, when Sweden faced a pressing dilemma. Its current combat aircraft, the Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Viggen, were aging and falling behind modern standards. The Swedish Air Force needed a fast, cost-effective replacement capable of reaching Mach 2, but more importantly, it had to meet the unique demands of Sweden's BAS-90 defense strategy. That meant the new aircraft had to take off and land from short, improvised runways just 800 meters long and 17 meters wide, often hidden in remote locations to survive a potential wartime attack on major air bases. This new fighter had to be smaller than the Viggen, but still deliver high performance, carrying both weapons and fuel without sacrificing agility or speed. Engineers explored several domestic and foreign alternatives. Sweden considered modifying older platforms, such as the trainer attack aircraft SA-38B, 3LA, and the A-20, a multi-role version of the Viggen capable of performing air-to-air -air and reconnaissance missions. At the same time, they evaluated foreign fighters like the American F-16, F-A-18, F-20 Tiger Shark, and the French Mirage 2000. But ultimately, Sweden decided to create a homegrown solution, an aircraft designed specifically for Swedish needs. This next-generation fighter would need to perform multiple roles in a single mission, air-to-air -air combat, ground attacks, and reconnaissance, under a philosophy called JAS, Sheer Jacked Attack, Spaining, or Fighter Attack Reconnaissance. Saab proposed a series of concept designs evolving from Project 2105 to 2108, and finally Project 2110, the foundation of what would become Sweden's most advanced aircraft. To develop this cutting-edge jet, several Swedish industrial giants formed a consortium. Saab, Volvo Flag Motor, Ericsson, and Svenska Radio Axibolaget. Together, they formed Industry Gruppen JAS, combining expertise in aerospace, electronics, propulsion, and systems engineering. The final design was sleek, compact, and exceptionally maneuverable. It featured a single engine, a canard delta configuration, and an aerodynamically unstable airframe controlled by a fly-by-wire system. Technology that enabled precise control and superior agility. For propulsion, they selected the Volvo RM12, a Swedish-made version of the General Electric F404, a lightweight yet powerful engine. In June 1982, the Swedish government approved the project with a massive 25.7 billion Swedish kroner contract, covering five prototypes and 30 initial production units. Saab began testing the new avionics suite and fly-by-wire system using a modified Viggen. When it came time to name the aircraft, a public contest was held, and the winning name was Gripen, Swedish for Griffin, inspired by Saab's heraldic emblem. The first Gripen was unveiled on April 26, 1987, coinciding with Saab's 50th anniversary. Although its maiden flight was initially scheduled for that year, unforeseen technical challenges caused delays. Eventually, on December 9, 1988, Test pilot Stieg Holmstrom flew the prototype for the first time, an exciting milestone that lasted 51 minutes. However, this early success was soon overshadowed by serious issues. Engineers identified instability in the flight control software, making the aircraft difficult to manage. The situation escalated on February 2, 1989, when test pilot Lars Rostrom experienced control problems while landing. The jet crashed, but he survived, sustaining only a broken elbow. Investigators traced the accident to flaws in the flight control algorithms. Refusing to give up, Saab partnered with Calspan, a U.S. aerospace firm, to revise the software. They conducted extensive tests using a modified Lockheed NT-33A aircraft. After 15 months of rigorous refinement, the Gripen's flight trials resumed, but further challenges still lay ahead. 
As air combat evolves, so too must the aircraft that dominate the skies. The Eurofighter Typhoon, long known for its agility and speed, received a notable upgrade through the Aerodynamic Modification Kit, AMK. This package, developed by the Eurofighter Consortium, was designed to boost the Typhoon's ability to carry heavier weapon loads, without sacrificing the maneuverability that gives it an edge in dogfights. The AMK includes features like strakes, leading edge root extensions, LERX, and enlarged elevons. These aerodynamic tweaks reportedly increase the wing's maximum lift by up to 25%, allowing for sharper turns, improved low speed control, and better stability when flying fully armed. The kit was put to the test in 2015 on Germany's IPA-7 prototype, and Airbus's head of combat aircraft, Kurt Rossner, emphasized that these enhancements would enable new weapon configurations while preserving close quarters combat capability. Despite its promise, no Air Force has yet adopted the AMK for their Typhoon fleets. However, similar aerodynamic benefits are now being integrated directly into a different fighter, the Gripen E. This latest version of Sweden's renowned JAS-39 Gripen comes standard with a redesigned wing, reflecting lessons from the AMK's development. The Gripen E is already a leap ahead of earlier variants, boasting advanced avionics, upgraded radar, superior electronic warfare capabilities, and full interoperability with NATO systems. Its unique ability to take off and land on roads or rough airstrips makes it especially useful in conflict zones where traditional air bases may be destroyed or inaccessible. In real-world combat scenarios, such as those unfolding in Ukraine, this level of adaptability is vital. Western-made cruise missiles, for example, are more easily integrated with NATO standard aircraft like the Gripen than with Soviet-era jets such as the MiG-29 or Su-27. The Gripen E's modern design makes it easier to upgrade, refit, and deploy in a wide range of missions from air superiority to electronic warfare. But how does the Gripen E compare to the American F-16, especially in a battlefield like Ukraine? The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a legend. Since the late 1970s, it has served as a fast, nimble, and adaptable multi-role fighter for air forces worldwide. With a top speed of over Mach 2 and a ceiling of 50,000 feet, it can hold its own in modern air combat. The F-16 also features the APG-68 radar, capable of tracking targets over 60 miles away and a frameless bubble canopy that gives pilots unmatched visibility. Its fly-by-wire system and side-mounted control stick offer exceptional handling, and upgrades over time have kept it competitive with newer platforms. However, the F-16's combat radius is more limited, around 340 miles on internal fuel, although external tanks can boost that figure to over 2,000 miles. Yet despite its proven record, the F-16 has a key disadvantage, maintenance. A recent U.S. report ranked it among the most maintenance-intensive jets in service, keeping an F-16 operational demands extensive logistics, spare parts, trained technicians, and significant infrastructure. Pilot training alone takes about nine months, making it a challenge to rapidly integrate into Air Forces unaccustomed to Western platforms. That's where the Gripen E holds a distinct edge. Designed for ease of maintenance and rapid deployment, the Gripen can be serviced by a small ground crew, requires minimal support equipment, and can refuel and rearm in just 10 minutes. Its cost-effective operation and rugged performance give smaller nations, or those in active war zones, a highly capable and flexible combat aircraft. As the war in Ukraine has shown, adaptability, low cost, and fast deployment are just as important as firepower and speed. While the F-16 remains a powerful asset, the Gripen E's next-gen features, low upkeep, and superior adaptability may prove to be game-changers in modern asymmetric warfare. Compared to the aging F-16, the Gripen E offers better electronic warfare, more advanced sensor fusion, and lower operating costs. In conflicts like Ukraine, it's the type of fighter that could change the game. Sweden's quiet revolution in aerial warfare is no longer a secret. The Gripen E is a symbol of agility, innovation, and smart design. For Russia, it's a wake-up call. For NATO, it's a powerful new ally. For the world, it's proof that military power doesn't need to be loud to be lethal.